Well, welcome back, everyone. What an incredible Wealth 365 Summit we just ended this past Saturday. It was the biggest and best one yet, and we're already geared up for the next one in January. I hope those of you that attended and became Wealth Charters that are listening in right now truly enjoyed your free pass to the active trader room over at becomebettertrader.com. We got to do exactly what you heard Rob teach us over at the summit, live in markets with real live money in markets today. We got to go in and take a look at potential ups and downs using the Champion Trend Pack and Wealth Chart Member exclusive tools. I was able to gross about $462.50 with one contract trading. Very small lot trading. Now, again, this is not an indication of a past track record or future results. When I follow the rules and have the tools on screen with me, I tend to do better. When I don't follow the rules, it doesn't tend to work out. Now, what you can see on screen right now, I'll take you to my live dome in just a second, is um, a, a market on a daily candlestick basis, a four-hour candlestick basis, with the wealth chart member exclusive tools and the champion trend pack. These are all part of the toolkit that Rob has developed over decades in markets, winning 32 live, real money, on-site, international and domestic trading competitions. He's the only one that we know of that's been able to do that. Now, competition-tested, competition-award-winning tools have converged on an intraday basis for some opportunity. And I'm going to share with you what I saw in markets earlier this morning and uh, was able to uh, uh, do with members in the active trader room. So let's go over to my live dome right now. And what you're going to see right now is the live dome ticking away. You can see it right there. Uh, and you've got the same daily chart and you've got a four hour chart. Now I'm going to remove the dome because I want you to take a look at the chart behind it as well. I want you to see that weekly chart. So there's a weekly chart. You've got the champion cross buy zone that thinned out. But as of today, and obviously it's the first day of the week, we do have the champion cross buy signal on chart. We do have that fast spike rising right above the top of the channel. And this sets up the opportunity while we are still in a champion trend buy zone. You can see that on the, on the weekly chart with that very simple buy zone plaque. That was a week of May the 22nd. You can see the breakout forecasters, the IRB signals, and you can see that the champion cross buy zone thinned out after we hit a top back at the end of July. Well, the daily chart as of the end of the day today, we're still sitting in a sell signal state. You may have heard Rob talk to you first up last week at the summit about we've got support on the weekly chart, but we've got resistance on the daily chart. And this can create some whipsaw action. And that's exactly what we've seen. And traders love that. Now, the daily chart has to still break out and above the champion trend sell zone trail to really unencumber us and open up the throttle, if you will, to try and rise back up towards potentially the secondary high year to date. When you take a look at the daily and the four hour chart, the four hour chart tends to throw its signal out three to five days. And what I can see over here is that we are pressed up against a negative momentum shift, but we're in a buy signal state and we're using some bullish fuel. Getting above 437 bucks and about 30 ish pennies does open the door, getting above that negative momentum shift for us to run. Now, when I did my live trading earlier today in front of members, it was day trading because I don't want to be caught in that whipsaw with swings at this moment in time, especially with big data and the geopolitical situation we're in. So if I give you a look at the five minute chart, which is really where I was focused and the one minute chart in particular, actually right into the open of trade. And I'm going to try to make that a little bit bigger on your screen here. What you can see is no pre-market data included in here. I've purposely left it out. You can actually see that we were in a buy zone into the end of the day on Friday. We obviously had that big move up. We got a wealth signal buy, breakout forecaster, and there was a little long opportunity right out of the gates for half a dozen minutes or so. It really then started to consolidate and get that champion trend buy, champion cross buy with a breakout above that negative momentum shift right in and around that 10, 10 a.m., 10, 11 a.m. Eastern time marker. 
this was that thrust that opened up the throttle. And you can see the spy went from about uh, down over here, roughly 400 and running up to $34 all the way up to about $437. So a pretty nice run with incredible signaling in advance of the move and a step-by-step -step process to apply alongside bullish trading. Now, I hope that members that were in the active trader room and on Wealth Charts watching in learned a whole bunch. And I'm looking very much forward to seeing you back in the active trader room as a brand new Wealth Charter. You've got access for 90 days to the active trader room over at becomingbettertrader.com. Looking forward to seeing you in there and looking forward to continuing that trading journey with you. Big thanks to Rob, the entire team, for putting on an incredible summit and looking forward to helping you on your journey using these incredibly powerful tools day in and day out. Have a wonderful rest of your day and thank you for watching.